Hey, assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome back to uh, Luna Classic update today. So Luna Classic uh, still is very boring, uh, not bad, no loss of any structure, no any negative comments about it. It's just that it's sideways, nothing more than sideways. All I'm waiting for right now is for those big investors to come and step in and throw money into Luna Classic. Now, I don't really think if Luna Classic ever comes down again like this and moves sideways, this is still on a bigger picture this will still be normal that's still okay as far as i'm concerned there's no any big issues but before that happens it does look like uh, luna classic is actually more interested to continue to go higher uh, because i do see that there's a little bit of break and some successful retest of the body going on so if i do show you like this uh, you can already see that you struggle to break you struggle to break all you had were wicks to the upside and finally you made a green closing. You also made some few body closing above that trend line. So it does look to me like next technical targets really coming up is uh, 0 0.15. And remember, this is an ascending triangle, a bullish pattern, reversal pattern for a downtrend to go to the upside. So we're hitting the good things. Again, bullish divergence keep, keeps on climbing. So we are still good. Hopefully, if things get really, really better, then we might see even a, another push back up to uh, this region right over here and we could create another big channel break above and continue uh, to move even a little bit more to the upside now uh, today's 26 but i want luna classic to remain between i mean this price the current price we're in right now for the next four to five days and the reason being is that if uh, luna classic stays at this price then i think it is going to be good why number one what i'm looking at is the weekly right today sunday last day and if you close at this current price notice you will be making in a morning star okay that's really good that's actually good on the weekly and if your foundations are really strong your your lower time frame are going to be very very uh bullish you're going to see very good nice performance if the weekly is strong right so it comes from the weekly all the way down to the lower time frame and the second thing is uh, the monthly time frame as well. Look at this. You had an evening star, and if you make this green closing, you are going to see a red candle, a green candle, and these two combined are actually bullish candles, right? This red and the green are actually bullish, and which means June is about to get wild and we may move to the upside. Speaking of June, uh, Discord link is in the description for you to join. So we have like six five days more to close june i think june is going to be huge for crypto ethereum etf is getting approved and uh, i do have some plans hopefully um for the trades i'm going to be taking if you want to know uh, do make sure you're joining in and i'm going to see you the next one of the office